Hey everyone, this is Megan with Able Cine, and I'm here taking a deep dive with the Airy Orbiter. The Orbiter is an ultra bright, fully tunable and directional LED fixture from Airy. It's the latest light of their offerings. All systems in the Orbiter are brand new, so completely from scratch. They took what they learned from the Sky Panel series as well as user feedback and really redesigned this light to answer a lot of the things that we've been looking for. The Orbiter also, I think, is really important to note, it's more than a single fixture. You'll see as we go through all of the offerings how much you can do with this one light. So if you're an owner-operator or a rental house or a gaffer, you know, having an Orbiter on your truck really allows you to have a light of any kind. Let's talk about some key features with the Orbiter and then we'll take a closer look at the structure of the light itself. So in terms of key features, the Orbiter has a completely brand new color science. This has a six color light engine. So this allows for a wider color gamut. It is much closer to Rec 2020. Another key feature with the Orbiter that's my favorite is the changeable optics. So you'll see this when we take a closer look. It has a really quick and easy mount to change optics all the way from open face to soft boxes. So in a matter of a minute or so, you can change your look and your mood and the feel of the light. The electronics are also all brand new and much more powerful. The Orbiter's processor is four times faster than the Sky Panel series and also has 125 times more memory. Another feature I want to point out is the newly designed and advanced software. We're going to take a closer look at a couple of the things that that software allows you to do. Aerie refers to this as the Lighting Operating System, or LIOS. And last but not least, Aerie also made sure that it has the ability for future-proofing. So regardless of whether technology evolves with different optics that we want to put on front of the lens, configurations, or software enhancements, it has a lot of future-proofing capabilities. So those are some of the key features I wanted to point out. Now let's take a closer look at the structure of the light itself. The Orbiter is an LED point source versus an array like the Airy Sky Panels or the Airy L series, which has a lens in front. This allows for a much brighter output and has more than 20,000 lumens. And it's similar to the Airy L10 in terms of brightness, which only draws 400 watts of power. That's the same for the Orbiter and is similar to a 2000 watt tungsten light. So you get a feel for how bright this light can be. What's amazing is this is all done with a very small chip that is about the size of a coin. Regarding the structure, they have designed it to be ready for onset use. So there are side bumpers and rubber feet. You can also add a skid as an accessory. The yoke is really great because it is toolless. So when you are removing and putting it back on, it's seconds to do so and completely toolless. The other great thing about it is the quick lighting mount. So in the front of the Orbiter, it has a quick lighting mount or QLM as Airy refers to it, which you'll notice mimics that of a Airy PL mount. On the QLM, there's a five pin digital interface, which allows for reading and writing to the optic. So the Orbiter actually knows what type of accessory is on the front of the light. In addition, they've also added a five pin LIMO connector by the QLM. This is again for future proofing for other accessories if you need external power. Now let's talk about the size and weight of the light. The light is a little over 25 pounds and it has designed with a back handle and a top handle. So for easy carrying or taking on and off a truck, you could also experiment with holding the light for a you know, creative shot or a moving shot. On the back of the light is a control panel and we're able to either keep the control panel on the light itself or use a five or 15 meter cable connected and control the orbiter. You'll notice when we show you the software that is also very user intuitive and very similar to Stellar. The light itself is also weatherproof and another nice new feature is a shock absorber on the top handle. Now let's take a look at the in and outs and communication options for this light. First, we have the SD card. This is for future expansion of software and metadata. Also in the future, one thing that'll be really exciting is because the QLM has those electronics, we'll be able to save the metadata so we'll know when each accessory was used. 
Next we have the USB-C port. This is mainly for servicing and for computer communication. The next two are traditional USB ports. Next we have the 5-pin XLR. Next we have the EtherCon port. And the next connector here is the sync connector. This is to allow for sync with a wide variety of cameras to have frame accurate flashing of the light output. The Orbiter also has built-in wireless, including Lumen Radio's CRMX solution for wireless DMX communication. Let's also take a look at our power options. You'll notice there is no external power supply. So another great thing about the Orbiter is that it has a built-in internal power supply, very lightweight. You can also use a battery that's been regulated for 48 volts with a three pin XLR. Now let's talk about Aerie's new light engine, which Aerie refers to as Aerie Spectra. The Orbiter's new light engine consists of six different LED colors that were chosen to really complement each other and achieve the best color rendition possible. This also allows you to use any camera and really all of our eyes also see color differently. And because of the six colors that they chose, it allows for all of the cameras to see the colors more accurately. The six colors that are included in the spectra are red, green, blue, cyan, amber, and lime. This covers 90% of the REC 2020 color space, which is more than the previous airy lighting fixtures. And also in terms of skin tones, the new LED, which is the six colors, have been selected to create a more continuous spectrum for skin tones. Now let's take a look at all the different accessories we have in terms of modifying this light, and you'll see how versatile it truly is. So as I mentioned, the front of the light has a QLM, or quick lighting mount. You can quickly remove the optic you're using and insert a new one. The five pin digital interface allows the light to immediately detect which optic is on the front of the light. One series of accessories that are available are the open face optics. There's a 15 degree, 30 degree, and 60 degree open face available. The open face optics allow for high output and a directional beam. It allows you to throw long distances of light, really even, and you can even put barn doors on front of it as well if you wanna shape that light. Airy also offers a nice variety of soft boxes, so you can really change this light into a completely different source than the open face optics. Airy offers both DOP choice and Chimera options with a range of soft boxes, including domes of three different sizes, as well as light banks and snap bags, and octa fours with accessories as well. There's also a variety of barn doors and snoots available. Now let's take a closer look at the brand new software that Aerie designed for the Orbiter. As I mentioned earlier, this is the LIOS software or the lighting operating system. It has an increased number of color modes and let's take a look at what those color modes are. You'll notice a lot of them are from the sky panel series with additional add-ons. Orbiter supports eight different color modes. The first one is the CCT mode, which you're familiar with with Aerie's previous lights. The color temperature range is actually even wider with this light, however. You can range from 2000 to 20,000 Kelvin. Another mode is HSI, or hue saturation intensity. There's also the XY coordinates mode. The next mode is to modify individual channels. The next mode is gel selection, which is Roscoe and Lee gels. Source matching, effects plus, and the new color sensor mode. Now this mode I think is the most exciting because it allows you to replicate ambient light. A lot of you may work in locations where you have mixed lighting, just like I am here with incoming daylight as well as fluorescence or tungsten light. Now we can have the orbiter take a continuous or momentary color sensor reading and immediately match that light source. The orbiter can be controlled multiple different ways. What I'm gonna show you now is how to control the orbiter through the wireless Airy Stellar application. I've also connected a wireless TP-Link router to the orbiter via an ethernet cable. Both the light and my iPad are on the same network that the TP-Link has created. Now I can open my Airy Stellar app. I've already created a project and a set, and it is going to look for the light, it sees it immediately, and right away I can control the light. You'll see I have this nice dial here for intensity, also the color temperature all the way to 20,000 Kelvin. 
green and magenta shift as well, as well as full ECC or extended color control. This is a really great way to control the light with our current situation of social distancing, as well as on a remote production, or even if you're on location and you just want to control all the lights on a grid. Well, there you have it. That is our deeper dive with the Airy Orbiter. Really exciting brand new light with all these new features. Can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll catch you next time.